one of the best tools you can use at the moment for off the air packet captures is a MacBook. Um, depending on the type of MacBook, like if it if it is a Retina 13 inch MacBook which support 11 AC 3 by 3, you can actually capture 11 AC 3 by 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an off the air packet capture. The first step is to find out which channel the SSID is operating in and the channel width of that channel. So here you can see that the SSID Epson 10 is on channel 6 with the channel width of 20 MHz. Next step is to open the wireless diagnostics tool. Click on the find and then type wireless and you will see the wireless diagnostics tool. Double click and open that. And once that is open, click on the windows menu at the top and select sniffer here you can select the channel you want to listen to and the channel with uh, you, you see there are options for 20, 40 or 80 megahertz and then click start and then yep, enter your root password now the sniffer tool is capturing the packets so what you need to do is connect your client and start downloading some data, ping some addresses and just keep the Wi-Fi data being used and after some time just stop this one and then the packet capture will be saved to your desktop. Yeah, minimize all the windows and then you will see the packet capture on the desktop with the today's timestamp and the extension is WCAP you cannot open this with Wireshark because the extension is not PCAP so you just need to rename it to be a PCAP and then you will see the icon becomes a Wireshark icon and when you double click it will open in Wireshark as you can see there are many 8.2.11 packets and if you click on one of the beacons you can see the Wi-Fi details. You can see the packet type is beacon. And the data rate is 1 Mbps. And you can see that the channel is channel 6. And finally the SSID information element shows that the SSID is Epson 10. Before going into more packet analysis, you need to understand the packet flow of a wireless client associating to an access point. The first step is the probe request and response, and then the open authentication, and after that there is association request and response, and then the four-way handshake which generate the pairwise transient key and group transient key for packet encryption and then you will see the encrypted data to filter the packet from the client you are interested in enter the filter wlan.addr equals equals the MAC address of the client Now you can see the packets which has your client's MAC address either in the source or the destination address. And if you scroll down a little bit, you should be able to see the four-way handshake for establishing the encryption keys, second, third and fourth. And a little bit above that, you will see the authentication, request response and association request and response packets. But if you scroll down, you see there's some cost data, but you cannot really see what's in those packets because the data is encrypted. It's another cost data packet. And if you filter, 
by let's say ICMP you will not see any ICMP packets even though your client ping some IP addresses while you are capturing the packets because all the packets are in, all the data packets are encrypted now you need to enter the pre-shared key and the Wi-Fi password for that go to view menu view the wireless menu and then in 802.11 preferences go to edit the decryption keys and then add your decryption key select WPA password not the PSK and the format to enter is the pre-shared key colon the SSID so my pre-shared key is E1234567 and the SSID is Epson 10 click OK and then select yes with IB not the default option and once you click OK you should be able to see some data packets unencrypted yeah. find where the 4-way handshake is scroll down yeah just after the 4-way handshake you can see ICMP v6 packets that's run SSL and if you filter by let's say ICMP now you will see that I ping Google IP address 8.8.8.8 and in the packet you will see it's actually a a Wi-Fi packet 802.11 has MCS rates using 11N and channel 6 but then you will see IP header and then the ICMP header then you can try to find the DHCP packets enter the filter boot P and you can see that the client's DHCP discover offer request stack packets and these also are Wi-Fi packets. You can see that there's a 802.11 header and then there's good, good P parameters. Yep. It's using Wi-Fi channel 6. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.